Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have a massive pile of Trader Joe's groceries in front of me so I thought it could be fun to do a Trader Joe's haul. I do have a lot of fun like fall stuff here as well. It's so like a Trader Joe's fall haul. Today that I'm filming this, it's September 22nd. So it's the first official day of fall. Got my little dog pumpkin shirt on. Um, even though it's 94 degrees here in North Carolina, it is officially fall. So let's jump into it. I'll start with the frozen stuff so I can get it in the freezer so it doesn't continue to melt. And then we'll jump in to some of the produce. Okay, so starting with this frozen stuff, first up I have a brie and tomato pizza. It's my favorite pizza from Trader Joe's. Um, not fall related, just a usual favorite. And I don't have any more in my freezer. So it was time to get another one. Then I did also get another box of the mini chocolate chip hold the cones. Really good like little ice cream snack when you want something sweet. I got the Sublime Ice Cream Sandwiches, also really, really good from Trader Joe's. Like one of my favorite things I ever get there. I, I've never seen these before, but I don't think they're new. These are the corn and cheese arepas. It's two corn griddle, cor two corn griddle cakes with a layer of mozzarella cheese in the middle. So that kind of sounded good as a little snack. I also saw these, which I've never seen before. Um, they seem almost more summery than anything, but um, these are the watermelon and peach macarons. And it says to thaw them out um, for one hour before enjoying. So I'll just have to make sure to take them out of the freezer when I want to eat them. Another usual favorite that I get every time is the gnocchi al gorgonzola. Mm, it's so, so good. Another favorite that I've gotten before is the asparagus risotto. Just a really good classic, easy to heat up kind of meal for after work. And then I got a couple fall things from the frozen section. This is riced cauliflower and butternut squash risotto, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, so I'll definitely have to try this and let you know. I don't believe they had this last year or if they did, I've never tried it before. So um, I'm excited to try that. And then two of the butternut squash mac and cheeses. They're not like my favorite thing ever, but they are really good. Um, so I feel like two boxes is good for me this year. Um, but now let's jump in just the plain refrigerated things. Refrigerated items. First up, I did get a pack of uh, mini cucumbers. I accidentally ripped the um, plastic off of it though when I was taking them out of the bag, but that works because I usually cut them up right after I get home from the grocery store. Anyway, um, I did get some, I actually got organic bananas today only because they looked better. Um, I like them a little bit green so they don't go bad too quickly. So I did just pick up those instead, got four of those. I got this unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. So I don't think I've ever tried these, but they're fully cooked. All you have to do is heat them up. So that sounded like a really easy meal. I also got a buffalo style chicken wrap. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this for lunch today or save it for tomorrow. It's good until the 26th. So I have a couple days to decide. And then I also got a chopped salad with grilled ripe chicken. It's got couscous currants. Um, Parmesan cheese and pecans with a sweet basil dressing. I don't know that I've ever tried this one before, but that sounded good. I might just save these for my two upcoming shifts since they're both good until the 26th and just make something else today. But those both looked like good, quick, easy things. I've never seen this before, but this is the almond mozzarella style shred. So it's a cheese alternative, like a dairy-free alternative. And it says it melts great. So I guess we will see. I'm excited to try that out. I also did get some mixed cauliflower. Um, I think I'm gonna throw like some buffalo sauce on this and make um, like buffalo cauliflower. I also got some butternut squash zigzags as well. Um, just make some butternut squash fries or something. I don't know. They just looks really good to me um, since it's like squash season now. So I figured I would try it. I did get some smoked salmon dip. I do actually really like Trader Joe's smoked salmon dip um, just for like crackers or even on wraps and stuff. 
I got some more Baby Bell cheeses because I am out. And then I believe this is the last refrigerated item. I got the um, pumpkin rolls with, and it has pumpkin spice icing on it. So I'm excited about these as well. Oh, um, one more thing. I got some just plain almond milk because I was out. So let's get all this in the fridge and then we'll do the last couple of pantry items. Last little category of things I have here is just some pantry type items. Starting off, I've never seen these before. These are called peanut butter and jelly fruise balls. It says there's five vegan energy balls in here. So I'm not really sure. I didn't like study it that hard, but it looked good. So I just bought one of the little packs and we'll try it out one day at work. Also, I got the peanut butter cocoa bars. They usually have the ABC bars, which is almond butter um, cocoa, but peanut butter was under the new section. So I figured I would grab these because I love the almond butter ones. So why not peanut butter? I grabbed another pack of the soft strawberry licorice twists. I really like these. Um, every time I go to Trader Joe's, I just grab one to snack on. These appeared new to me. I don't know if they've had them before. It's honestly been a couple months since I've been to Trader Joe's, um, but these are the habanero lime flour tortillas. So I thought these would be really good to like even throw some like turkey or something on one day, or even like some cream cheese probably would be good on those. Um, I got these, which are the spooky bats and cats sour gummy candies. I just thought that these were um, cute for fall and Halloween. Um, I grabbed six of the full-size Chomps turkey sticks for my next couple shifts coming up because I'm out of my mini ones. And since I'm about to move, I didn't want to have to worry about shipping the mini ones to me from Thrive Market. So I grabbed six of those. I also got this Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. It's a tomato-based sauce, but I remember really liking this from last year. Unless I'm really mistaken, I might be. Um, but it's made with pumpkin and butternut squash. And I believe that Hope really likes the soup version of this and I trust her judgment. So we will try this at some point coming up as well. And then to go with it, I got the fall zucchetti pasta. So it's butternut squash pasta shaped like little pumpkins. So that is fun and exciting as well. One more non-fall thing before I forget. I got a pack of these sparkling tropical lemonades. It says it has, oh, it doesn't have it on here. Oh, here we go. Um, with passion fruit, pineapple, and guava. And I had a really good guava lemonade in the Bahamas. So this kind of intrigued me. And then three more fall related things. I got the pumpkin brioche twist, um, which I thought could be really good for breakfast. Um, just to like toast it before breakfast. It says it would be really good for French toast too, which I actually could see that being really good. Um, but I figured I could just throw some butter and stuff on it in the mornings before work. And then I did get the pumpkin spice granola bark. Um, it's pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with dark chocolate and toasted pumpkin seeds. So I thought that that would be kind of fun to try as well. And then last up, I just got a jug of the spiced cider. I love apple cider. I love apple cider flavored things over pumpkin a lot of the time, but we could, I could heat this up in a mug or just drink it cold, but I love apple cider. So until I can find like a good orchard to go to around here as it cools off a little bit, this will do for now. But I believe that is everything that I got from Trader Joe's today. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your fall favorites are from Trader Joe's. I'm super curious. I'm not sure if my store had everything out quite yet or not. It was a little bit hard to tell. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.